Hello all, this is going to be a mind-blowing expose and documentary revealing the truth about sharks and shark finning and it's going to teach you that everything you think you know is a lie and it will be proven indefinitely, undoubtedly proven throughout. So every one of these shark finning videos that you see um, they specifically use the most graphic and disturbing images they can find and I've spent hundreds of hours of my life lately um, watching these videos on YouTube and one of the first things that anyone who knows better or has an IQ higher than Gump will realize is that more than three-fourths more than three-fourths of the images and footage used in these videos has nothing to do with shark finning this picture right here you can actually see down the back the skin is gone that's the first move the first move is cutting off the fins second move is that stripe right there so you can come down at a downward angle and fillet the shark that shark is laying in a pile of shrimp nobody catches shark and shrimp together commercially that's a commercial shark fishing uh, venture who after a drag which means they just one set of the net they pulled up a haul of shrimp they had a shark mixed in it and they're actually filleting it up the very first step in filleting a shark to eat is to remove all the fins first that's step number one so one of the favorite methods of these save the shark anti-fitting propaganda anti-finning propaganda videos is to take images of sport fish caught sharks or the pile of their fins laying next to the body or whatever <clears throat> and claim that it's from shark finning. It has nothing to do with shark finning and every single shark that has ever been caught by a sport fisherman has had to have its fins removed as the first step. Um, the next massive lie, aside from the fact that over 75%, more than three-fourths of the images are not from finning, the next biggest lie is the number of sharks they claim that has been killed worldwide. You'll notice, just like I did, that the number varies from video to video. And I just watched three in a row that had different numbers. One said 1 million, one said 75 million, one said 100 million sharks killed by finning every year. First of all, there's less than 150,000 sharks killed annually worldwide by all sport and commercial fishing. Less than 150,000. There's only a few thousand killed by finning. Finning has been abolished and does not exist in any form whatsoever in any waters of the United States. And the handful of places that it does exist, you're not going to be able to stop or do anything about anyway. Your money that you've donated, there's a sea turtle falsely being represented, it, <laughs> falsely being represented as being caught while finning. I mean, give me a break. Is anyone honestly dumb enough to think that that turtle is being caught by finning? So, um, the handful of places that do still fin, um, you can't do anything about it. And the money that you donate, hoping that you're saving sharks from finning, is actually spent by PETA and its subsidiaries like Greenpeace, Sea Shepherd, ALF, ELF. They have dozens of groups now because they know that people know that PETA is 100% lies and lunatics and they can't say an honest word. So they tune out as soon as they hear PETA's involved. So they cleverly have several other organizations and small splinter cells that they'll put the name on as this video was produced by such and such so that the public has no idea that it's actually coming from PETA. But every image, word, statistic, number, percentage that you're given is blatant lies. 100% flat out blatant lies. And donating one penny to stop shark finning will not save a single shark. Shark finning does not exist in the USA or in you know places like the UK or whatever. So donating one cent to PETA or its subsidiaries to quote unquote save the sharks or stop finning will never save a single shark. It is in fact 100% all of your donations are spent on lobbying to change the laws in the United States to ban fishing, hunting, pet ownership and farming. 
PETA's real goals have nothing to do with ethical treatment or banning finning or whatever other line of bullshit you've been fed. PETA's real goals are the absolute banning of all pet ownership. That means your dog, your cat, whatever animals you have, they want it banned. No pet ownership. They want no farming of any kind. They want all pets and domestic farm animals to be released into the wild, for God's sakes. They also want to stop and ban all, all, all forms of fishing of any kind. At this point, it's very important and crucial to point out the fact inarguable 100% fact that only 3% of the biomass of marine life that is killed and caught annually is from sport fishing. 97% of the biomass of marine life, whether you're talking about sharks, salmon, whatever, is uh, 97% is commercial, only 3% is sport fishing. Sport, f sport fishing is not capable and has not ever um, extincted a single marine species. Com only commercial fishing is capable of doing that, and all bad forms of commercial fishing in the civilized parts of the world, like the United States' oceans, for example, um, any type of fishing that is capable of extincting something or threatening something was completely abolished decades ago. So, like I said, every single thing you know or think you know is a blatant lie from decades of brainwashing. This is going to be hard for you to accept. It's hard for anybody's ego to realize or admit that everything they think they know or are passionate about is a blatant lie. But I'm going to point something out to you that no one knows and everyone on this planet should know. In the 1980s, we banned the last forms of logging that were left, thinking we were doing the right thing after, bra after being brainwashed for decades, shown disturbing images of clear-cutting overseas like in Argentina and stuff. And for decades, we literally thought our forests were in danger. This is a fact. It is not even arguable. Um, in fact, the founder creator of Greenpeace is now its biggest opponent because of the fact that it was overrun by PETA, whose goals have nothing to do with environment, conservatorship, or management, or anything like that. It's just the all-out abolishment of anything having to do with ownership or servitude or slavery as they call it of animals or animal death so in the 80s uh, when we were all deceived into banning the last forms of logging that were left the types we banned were the good kinds nobody actually knew the following two things that will blow your fucking mind fact one that will blow your mind and change you for the rest of your life is the fact absolute fact that all dangerous or bad forms of logging had already been abolished more than half a century prior to the late 80s when we did ban the last logging. And the only logging we banned was the kinds that were left, which was good kind. But all bad, dangerous forms of logging, such as clear cutting, etc., had already been completely abolished from North America for more than half a century before we voted to ban logging. No one knew that, and no one even knows it to this day. Uh, if you go watch Penn and Teller bullshit um, episodes on PETA, environmental hysteria, and animal rights, you'll actually be proven this and you'll hear it from the creator of Greenpeace himself, who, like I said, is now their biggest opponent. Um, aside from that, the mind-blowing fact regarding this subject is the fact that in the 80s when we did the logging bans, uh, the forests of North America were actually, literally, inarguably fact. They were the healthiest they had ever been in history, including prior to a single European man coming to this continent. I'm going to say that again because nobody knows it and it will fucking rock you to your core. In the 80s, when we banned the last good forms of logging, and we all thought that, that the forests were endangered and threatened and we were all going to die from lack of oxygen and whatnot. The forests were the healthiest they had ever been in North America going back to before a single European migrating to North America. Take a minute and chew on that and digest it. I have to stop now because it's at nine minutes. Come back for part two. I guarantee you this documentary series will blow your fucking mind.